This kid is just 9 years old and he's already candidate master and his classical rating is already 2136. And why I say this? Because I played against him in Titled Tuesday. B3. Interesting. And crazy fact, he joined on chess.com when he was only 5 years old. He's what? You are kidding me? No. Nine? How can he be nine? He joined in 2020, like... Game started with b3, d5, bishop b2, knight on f6. Well, it's pretty common that uh, online players play b3, but sometimes they play also it over the board. Instead of knight on f6, there was other options like bishop on f5, or any other options like maybe bishop g4, not to let uh, pawn be developed after e3. But I decided to go regularly with knight on f6. Knight on f3 and c5. Uh, I just wanted to take center and just simply develop my pieces here. My opponent played g3. Instead of g3, it would be much better to play c e3 because he would develop bishop with this way. Plus uh, d4 would be possible and white would not let me play d4 by myself. After c5, e3 would be better, but he played g3. Probably wanted to develop bishop with b uh, g2. And I played knight c6. Bishop g2 and g6. Another mistake, but it was from my side now. g6 was not a necessary move here, because if he would give me this strong bishop, I would just simply take with this pawn, and then f5 would be better here. So it would be much better to play queen c6, so I just simply develop queen, play e6, bishop d6, etc. But I decided to play g6, and he played castle. Well, knight e5 would be also better to simply trade these knights or just play d4 to take control of the center, but he decided to castle, which is normal move also. Bishop d7 and d3. Well, again, my pawns are strong here in the center, and it would be better, again, to play knight on e5 to trade this knight, which controls e5 square, or just play e3 again, not to allow d4. Uh, but, well, he played e3, and I played castle. Instead of castle, it would be really interesting to play d4, as it would not allow white to play e3 or e4, because after e3, I would just simply can't play knight d5, and now this pawn is hanging it. If you push e4, knight c3 or knight c7, and already this bishop becomes weak, uh, my pieces are strong, and uh, as it's close center, it's much better play for black here. So that's why it was much better to play uh, here d4. But I played castle. It's still normal move here. Knight bd2 and queen c7, developing my queen. c4 and rook d8. But rook d8 is already a mistake. c4 is a mistake because now it gives me possibility to play d4, which I should have played, to close this bishop from b2 and then push e5 pawn to e4. That's why rook d8 was a mistake here. After rook d8, he took on d5, which is strong move because he just simply trades the strong d5 pawn and same time trades this bishop, which would be weak if I would play d4. And now it's pretty comfortable position for white. Rook c1, another strong move attacking pawn on c5. b6 and queen c2. Well, now I have a bit of trouble because my queen is on c file and uh, if he would play d4, and if I take, there's knight d4 and I have already trouble. So that's why d4 would be better move here. And the only move for me would be knight c4 to protect my pawn. But still, it's a bit complicated to play after e4. And the only move is knight on a2. Takes, takes, and queen c1. And uh, it's pretty comfortable way to play this position. So that's why after b6, d4 would be better for white. He played queen c2, which is good for me, and I just simply doubled my bishop. I'm doing fine. If he would play d4 here, which is already a mistake, I can just take. And he can't take because there I'm going to take. And this queen is protected, like takes. I'm going to check. King on h1. I'm going to take here and rook and bishop and everything is hanging. If he takes here, I'm just going to take, take and rook d2. And I would have extra piece. So it's not working. So that's why here d4 is not working already. So that's why it's a good position for me. Knight c4 and e5, taking whole center. It's pretty interesting move to play. At the same time, don't let in uh, any ways uh, white to play knight on e5. It's not working now, but it might have worked later. Queen b2 and f6, protecting pawn on e5. 
and also closing this diagonal for white's queen. Rook on fd1 and I played queen e7. I just want to avoid queen from c file and push my queen to center. h4. He tries to start attacking on my king side, but it's not working because all his pieces are in the center and queen side. I take my knight in the center. Knight d4, e takes d4. Well, here I was thinking that e takes d4 would be much better in order to open this file. Uh, I thought that e2 would be would become weak, etc. But actually, it would be much better to take with c pawn. And rook c8, knight c3, I would have this square already. And he can't play e3 either, so it would be much better to take with this pawn. He takes d4, rook e1, queen d7, queen d2, rook e8, and a3. He is simply doing proper moves, developing his pawns, trying to create something here, but it's still equal. Rook c8. Well, it would be much better to play rook on e7 and I do rook e8 and attack this pawn, as it's like my only play. Rook c8, e4. Mistake. He rushed here, would it be better to start preparing with b4 or just simply push b4 and if I take he will just take here and it would be better him to have this kind of a structure and open c file. So e4 is mistake because I just simply take and he gets already weakness. Rook c d8, queen on f2, again mistake. Again he should have played before to start creating some attack here. Queen on f2, knight on e7, and rook on f1. Again, he's starting to attack my king at rook on f8. It would be interesting to play rook knight g8 and open this rook, but I decided to play rook on f8. Rook d1 and bishop g2. Um, it, it was not really obligation to take on g2 because b5 would be really interesting move as well, but I thought that just simply trading this bishop's wound on hard, b5, attacking this knight on c4, and b2, knight d5. Well, knight on f5 would be better. It attacks uh, these pawns and also e3. Plus, it covers this file for rook, and then rook on f8, e8 would be much better. So, it was much better move. Queen on f3 and queen e6. Strong move attacking pawn on f3. e4, knight c3. Rook d2, queen b3, taking pawn. So, h5, queen on a3, another pawn. Rook on h2 and g5. g5 was a mistake. I should have just simply played queen before I dealt queen d4. He can't do anything here. After h6, I just go back. And if he would take, I just simply take and that's all. Here's no nothing. So g5 was not necessary move. h6, king on h8, strong move. e5 and queen b4. I just want to transfer my queen to center to protect my king. Just uh, in case if I would play queen b7. Takes queen d4 and queen d5. It is way better for me to trade these queens because white's queen is protective. Rook on f2, rook on f6, queen d5, takes king g1, takes with knight. Rook on f7, a5, pushing all of my pawns. Rook on f6, want to trade the rook. Rook e1, a4, uh, knight d1. Rook on f8, rook e5, rook on f5, and here he got flagged and I'm just simply winning. Like and subscribe.